Hey guys, so tonight I am going to be working on my TRX4 Bronco. It's the white one. I've had it for maybe a month or so. Technically, it's my wife's crawler. I have a, it's a K10 high trail crawler and then the K5 Blazer uh, TRX4. Um, but tonight I got like a tire cover for it that I'm going to be putting on it and then I'll go over all the accessories and upgrades I put on the truck and then we're actually currently driving up to Tennessee for work but on downtime I want to be able to get some clips for YouTube of you know different different shots or landscapes that I can find um, and show you guys what the truck is capable of. I know you know there's a lot of different videos where people are using the truck and it's been out for you know quite you sometime the chassis anyway it's got the diff lock and the two-speed transmission i will see you guys up in tennessee when we're installing the tire cover for the trx4 bronco this is the tire cover here the board number is 8074 um I'm, we're going to be putting this on the back obviously this goes on the back of the truck but i'm not so sure if we end up taking the tire off or it covers the tire i'm not entirely sure we're gonna get into it but yeah this is the trx4 bronco that i have i got the white one obviously i'm gonna do a quick little show and tell of what i've got into the truck so as you can tell on the outside we have these are not stock wheels these are the bead locks the traxxas bead locks that come ready to go and we have the winch which i have to fix the last time i took the winch out the hook got raveled into the the winch itself. Let's pop the body and show you what I got underneath it. So as you can see, I put the Pro light kit in there. Everything's wired in there. You got your your settings and blinkers and headlights, halos, um, and then reverse lights and tail lights. And then as you can also see, which comes separately, is I have the the rock lights all mounted on the front and the rear of the truck and underneath as you can see here i got skid plates so you got a bumper skid plate and then the differential skid plate and then the skid plate here 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 and as you can see just skid plates all around the truck the truck looks like obviously with lights on the rock lights just make the truck stand out and look a lot better than it was before i bought the light kit and the rock lights at the same time but yeah, you got different modes, as you can probably see in other people's videos. There's different modes. You got kind of you know, the halos there, the lamps, high beams, and then and I still haven't been able to figure out how to get the turn signals to turn. I'm not sure if I wired up something wrong in there or what what the deal is. But let's get into putting the tire cover on. So. We won't be needing the chassis at all. Like it, this is just a body upgrade. So, first thing that we're gonna take off is the rear tire. And then inside, there's four screws in there that I might be able to get to without taking the whole undercarriage of the body off. So, as I unbox this, obviously you have your plastic tire cover screws and i'm guessing the mounts for the rear of the truck but looking at the directions i'm not sure if this is going to work for this truck it says bronco ranger and as you can see there that's an old school bronco right there and we have the 2021 bronco so we are gonna i guess find out and see what we can't do i'm gonna try to make it work for the video but let's get everything put together and get back to you when it's done So from the looks of it, it looks like we're not even going to need these pieces that came with it. This is for the old school, I think 1979 Bronco. So what we did is this piece came off the back 
of <clears throat> the body and all we're gonna have to do is put this back in place I think I think I did it right maybe not I guess we're gonna find out but uh, I'll get back to you and let you know when I'm done up to the last bolt here and just like that I think we are good and just like that that is what it looks like tire cover actually does not go on there tire is right there and we didn't even end up needing those brackets here because obviously it's a newer truck so all we got to do is snap the body on there just like that goes front and line up the back and just like that we are set now let's try to get the winch hook back on the right side as you can see it's over on the rear side of the winch and i gotta somehow take my old pliers and feed it through there so wish me luck For tonight, I'm working on the truck. Pretty much everything else is done. I got that part on there, the winch turned around. Tomorrow, we're gonna take the truck out and show you guys what it can do. Uh, maybe a little water, a crawling, speed test, maybe a little bit of everything. Now let's get I think it's time for the time we use the winch. Get some use out of that boy. I'm gonna try to hopefully I don't fall here. But we're gonna try to link up from here and wrap around this tree and get up to these rocks because it is very, very rocky. But uh let's give it a shot. <laughs> Go 
can do. <laughs> There you guys have it. This is the 2021 Traxxas TRX4 Bronco. As you guys can see, it put up really well. Um, I put it through pretty much everything. Uh, a lot of water, rock crawling, just straight bashing with it. Got a little uh, slow-mo clips to throw in there for you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.